This accordion is a Brandoni Kingline Casotto 150C. There are five sets of reeds in the right hand, which is a tone chambered low, three middles that are musette tuned uh, that are not in the chamber, and a piccolo reed that is in the chamber. So it's double ch tone chambered, but lo uh, the low reed and the piccolo reed. Having the piccolo reed in the tone chamber is very unique and very uncommon and makes for uh, some really cool and, and very, very unique sound combination. Let's, let's start here. So the top, the top row of switches is all combinations that do not have a low reed in it. And then the bottom row of switches is all combinations that do have a low reed. So let's start without the low reed. The first switch is the clarinet, and this is out of the chamber. Okay, now we're going to hear the piccolo reed that is in the tone chamber. Next we have the elbow, which is the middle out of the chamber and the piccolo in the chamber. violin, which I think this is the driest of the two middle settings. Okay, and then we have violin one, which is another two middle combination. Now this one's called Musette, which is all three of the middle reeds together. Okay, next we have uh, musette one, which is another combination of the two reeds. It's the two middle reeds that are neither one of them is in tune. Okay, now we have polka, which is three middle reeds and one piccolo. I must say that's very powerful. Polka, this is called Polka 1, and then we'll have a Polka 2 after it. So Polka 1 is piccolo plus the two reeds that are out of the chamber, um, but that are not, or pardon me, all three middle reeds are out of the chamber, but these two are the ones that are not in tune. Uh, let's move to a different key. <laughs> Now these are um, two middle reeds, it has the one, one in tune and one out of tune with the piccolo. Oh, that's very cool. I like that one a lot. Um, Celeste, one middle reed, 
uh, out of tune and the piccolo. And finally, a uh, flute, which is one middle reed that is out of tune, only one. Now, the bottom row, the master switch. Next, we have bassoon in the tone chamber. is bandoneon, uh, low in the tone chamber, the in-tune middle reed. Next, uh, harmonium, which is low in the tone chamber, middle reed that's in tune, out, but out of the tone chamber, and the piccolo reed, which is also in the tone chamber. Okay. Now we have organ, which is low in the tone chamber, and uh, piccolo out. Etc. Um. No G, just F. Okay, now the accordion switch, low and two middles. The, another combination of low and two middles called accordion one. Now this one's called concert, which is low, middle, high, but a second middle. So low, middle, middle, high. Okay, and then we have um, orchestra, it's called, which is middle, 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 low. We have concert one, which is two middles, low and high. Now this one is horn, which is a middle that's out of tune and the low. This is bandoneon one, which is low and a uh, middle that's out of tune. Etc. And then the last one is master switch again. So you have a master up here and you have a master down here. Okay. Let's go through the mini sets of uh, bass registers. The top one is a mute because this accordion does have MIDI. So that mutes everything if you only want to hear the MIDI bass and no acoustic bass. This is um, some high reeds. 
and the chords. And the, uh, it comes from the same set of notes. Okay, the next read down here. down. Sounds like bass piano, or is this master? This is master. Okay, the next one down. This is bass piano. Next one. And your chords. Okay. Last one. It's like a uh, organ bass. Thank you. 